Hey guys, welcome to the BD Themes widget tutorial. Today we'll be talking about the Mercury widget brought to you by Prime Slider add-on. The Mercury slider offers a dynamic view of the content with the background image and text side by side, creating a minimal canvas style. Clicking the navigations changes the slides in a dramatic way. The content part also has hover effects to make them more interactive. Alright, from the controls, the top scroll bar lets you change the image height of the slider. The content part automatically adjusts to the image height. You can also adjust the content max width to determine how much space the content will consume. But hey, if you want to switch the position of the image and the content, turn on the content reverse switcher. After that you can change the text alignment from here. And the image size option lets you customize the dimension of all images on the slider, all at once. Keep in mind that removing values from the image height or any other field will reset the settings to the default value. Moving into the query, here you can select the source of the items displayed over the slider. The number of posts to be displayed can be limited right below. The include exclude fields are filters to show or hide posts belonging to certain categories only. For instance, click on the include field and select terms. Then type in a category name in the next field right below. Now selecting the category will make the slider show posts belonging to that specific category only. Then comes the shorting option for the slider. The two switchers below let you hide sticky posts and posts that don't have featured image. Next, the additional setting section has a bunch of switchers that let you show or hide certain elements from the display such as the title, text, category, etc. For instance, turning off the category switcher will hide the category from the slider. As you are seeing now, let's turn it back on. The slider settings section mostly has animation controls for the slider, like autoplay, loop, animation speed, etc. Here you may change the slider animation effect between fade and slide. Then customize the animation controls and adjust how your slider will function. One more thing, you can turn off the navigation arrows from this section with the switcher at the end. Now, let's jump into the style tab for appearance customization. From the very first section here, you can add a background color for the items. The color will be visible on the content background. Next from the title section, change the title color to white. Now let's customize the title font from the options within the typography control. Start with the font family, then font size, and later wait, the title looks totally impressive right now. Next, go into the text section. Let's make the text white in color. The same white goes to the meta text below. And then let's get inside the category section. First, make the background white while the text can stay blue. You may add a border to the category but we're selecting none for this demonstration. Then add some values in the border radius field to curve the edges of the category background. You can switch to hover control on top here. For the hover, let's make the background black and the text white. Check that out real quick. Lastly, go to the navigation section. Let's paint the background in blue by matching it with the item's background. Drag the opacity a bit down while you are at it. For hover, just make the background a bit stronger in color than the normal mode. And that's all it takes to create an appealing slider using the Mercury widget. Hope this video helped. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel to get updates on new tutorials. Until then, stay safe and see you next time.